Hey boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today, what we do have in here is Enlisted, a new free-to-play game developed by Dark Full Software and it is using its in-house technology. So I'm running the game at 720p using the minimum settings and it seems that there are some things broken with this graphical settings. So despite I want to use the maximum resolution scaling, which is 100%, Despite the game applies it, it doesn't seem to be working, it seems that the game it is always forcing 50% despite the settings says that it is 100, but visual quality wise it is clearly noticeable that it is using 50%. Alright, let's display the results, because I did try the game without recording, and these are the results that I did tr that I did got. So, with 100% of resolution scaling, I got an average of 50 frames per second with a 1% low of 38, so most of the time the game was under 60 frames per second. And with 75% of resolution scaling, I got slightly better results, uh, an improvement about 5 to 7 frames per second, but that depends a lot on the map and the action that you are getting. So, in my opinion, despite I have these results for 100% of resolution scaling and for 75% of resolution scaling, the reality is uh, I think the game it is always using 50% for this GPU for some reason. It might be a bug, I don't know, but in listed it was just releases and it is still on beta. So, some issues might appear with the game, alright? so. We don't know that if in the future this will be fixed, but for now the experience it is a little bit complicated. So so far, the frame rates are mostly under 60 frames per second, which for an FPS game, a multiplayer FPS game, it is acceptable. But as you know, you would always prefer to have above 60 for you know for being more comfortable and more quick to respond uh, upon the enemies. But the thing is, this game it is very clunky, I know that there is tons of issues with, uh, in my opinion, with the way that the character interacts with, um, you know, with the terrain and with the object, sometimes uh, the character just gets stuck when it's trying to climb a fence or anything, stuff like that, you know, interactions with the environment, it feels a little bit, you know, buggy and clunky, uh, the character it is also slow. But that is for the realism, I think. So this game resembles a lot Battlefield. Uh, Battlefield wait, call it that way, because there are a couple of tanks uh, like that you can pick up and kind of one or two aircrafts. And that's about it in the maps that I have tried. So I would resemble this probably more like a Bad Company 2, but set in World War II. And also, it seems that, again, it is way more realistic, so you take like one, two shots to kill an enemy, and your character it is very slow doing the stuff, so it, it is really more realistic than Battlefield in that regard. It's just a little bit clunky when it comes to interactions with the environment. Also, this game you spawn as part of a squad, so if you don't uh, take friends with you to play with you in this game, you will spawn as part of a squad, which is which contains bots that goes with you, and if you die, you can spawn immediately as um, replacing a bot that it is near you. So it is awesome because if you die, you can immediately spawn as the bot that was nearby you, and you take his place and kill the guy that killed you, because you immediately know who the who the hell was the guy that did kill you. So there are some this nice stuff, for example, if you lose the entire squad, obviously you need to respawn from one of the respawn points, just like it happens in Battlefield. I think it's very interesting, but my experience with the MX-130 or the GD-940MX, it is not really great, not because mostly of the frame rate. I mean, getting under 60 frames per second, it is not optimal for a game like this, but the worst part here is really playing with this resolution and even having these bugged resolutions going, going on it makes the game super blurry and since the enemies are at a certain distance uh, it is very very hard to distinguish if you are looking to an enemy or if you are looking to a piece of grass or an object so it gets really really tough apart from that i have absolutely nothing to say i don't notice too much lag in this game so far regarding network so everything seems to be working properly uh, network wise 
and graphics wise the whole settings absolutely looks great you get all the effects uh, shadows and grass and uh, volumetric lightning global illumination screen space reflections so you get the full package even when playing at the lowest settings which is pretty good but again it is very very unfortunate the issue that we are having that it is forcing the game upon 50% of resolution scaling which makes the game super blurry and in my opinion it kind of ruins entirely the experience that I'm getting so who knows if they fix this in the future but even if they do we know that this comes at a cost because using higher resolution scaling will make the game to run slower because of being obviously more demanding so if you are already having trouble to get 60 frames per second imagine if we can use higher resolution scalings all right so i think that's all that i want to talk about enlisted it is free to play so you can go and get the game for this video i had tons of stuttering this is regarding the shadow play all right uh, the, the laptop it isn't really handling playing the game plus shadow play for some reason in this specific game so i get much more centering than without recording again guys that's all that i want to talk about in listed hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video and i do hope to see you soon goodbye Control point Bravo. 